Hello princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Today we're going to look at some really good, I don't mind ruining it, these are some good products from Rare Beauty. We have three of them to look at. The Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Sticks we're going to look at. The Always an Optimist Soft Radiant Setting Powder. Yes, I was reading that off paper. It's a mouthful. And um, we're going to talk about the new shades of the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. Whew. Every, every brand has long names for their products, but I'm telling you Rare Beauty always takes the cake. Um, I did spoil things by saying that I really do like these products, but I was excited to say that because lately I've been a bit disappointed by Rare Beauty. Uh, this is bringing that back for me. These, these are really nice products. So let's talk about it. First of all, the Effortless Bronzer Stick comes in five different shades and is $23. I was careful at first, but you'll see in the demo, I chose Power Burst, which is, I believe, pretty much one of the lightest shades they have. And you can kind of see that on me. It is indeed very light. I usually go a lot darker and more daring, actually, on my bronzer, but I wanted to see how this blended first. And you'll see in the demo, it blends just like a dream. This is a really good product, in case you were wondering. Um, the Always an Optimist Soft Radiant Setting Powder is a $22, basically translucent, lightly tinted setting powder for $22. Comes in five shades. I picked up the shade 5 Medium. It's kind of a cool little thing. It has this little R, if you can see that here, and without spilling product, it moves and allows product out through the little holes and then moves back. Now I will say the only drawback with this one is I usually move it and then shake it upside down and get a little bit on the lid. Be careful because the shaker works very efficiently. So I was kind of wasted. I figured it would just kind of parcel it out a little bit like a salt shaker, but it was more like a salt shaker with a lid off. So do be careful because it does dispense a lot of products. So that's just a warning. I should have realized that, but didn't. We also have the new Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. Now, these are $20, and we know this product already. They've added three new shades for a total of 11 shades, and I picked up the new shade Encourage. This is a kind of radiant or, or matte. This is the rate, all three actually, were added to the radiant side. There are some matte shades already existing, but all the three new ones go with the radiant side. This is a beautiful liquid blush. Um, everybody likes the first existing shades and the three new ones are no exception. Here is Encourage right here. And let me just take it again on my hand and just kind of blur it out for you so you can see, though you will see me put it on in the demo as well. I did really well on my shade choices with these products. And you can see that I'm excited. I'm tripping over my words. I am excited because I'm happy to see more products from Rare that I really, really like. And I want you to take a look at the demo so you can get excited right along with me. So let's go to that right now. Okay, I have my hair back so it won't get in the way. And I'm really looking forward to trying the Effortless Bronzing Stick first. Now, I chickened out and purchased this in a very light shade because I'm didn't trust how well it would spread, right? So let's see. And this use will determine whether I can go a bit bolder with it in another purchase, maybe. By the way, this would be really nice. Let me just show you here, applied to the eyes as a kind of transition shade. Um, depending upon what you're doing, I have the uh, Rare Beauty Liquid Eyeshadow in there, but it, it looks really pretty and it's kind of a nice matte, so you can add it into any shadow palette you're working with. So that's just an aside. Okay, I am not going to contour, but I am going to kind of cheat. I'm not using the Rare brush. Shh, don't tell. I'm going to use the Patrick Ta brush. I like this for contouring and bronzing, brontouring. It is synthetic, but it's really nice and just kind of thick, and so it'll blend really, really well because I just don't know what to expect, although that went onto the eyes really nicely. All right, so let me just do a really messy kind of bronzing, almost like um, looking for a kiss from the sun. So we're just gonna kind of just be really messy about it. There's the shade on me. Ooh, that blends really nicely. And just kind of really puts a pretty bit of warmth. Let me do a little bit along the hairline here. 
just to warm up my face, which is getting a bit pale from the winter. Oh, it blends very, very nicely, you guys, very nicely. And then maybe a little bit on my non-existent chin. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's not, oh yeah, I can definitely go bolder with this next time. I really kind of chickened out, but I can definitely go a bit bolder. That's a very fun, pretty product to use. I really like that. All right, now let's try this, one of the three new Soft Pinch Liquid Blushes. As I said, all three of the shades are in the Radiant category rather than matte. Let's put on a little bit with my Sonia G uh, Fusion Brush. You could use your fingers too, but I'll use a brush and then we'll overdo it so you can see what it looks like even better. Okay, so here it is, just a moderate amount. Well, not the way it's applied now. Well, it spreads really nicely. We know that these uh, blushes are very beloved. So I wasn't I wasn't wondering about that. We were more wondering about the shades. Oh, isn't that pretty? Kind of a really happy color. And it's called Encourage, so that would make sense there. And let me just put a little bit more on just to exaggerate it a bit, just so you guys can really pick up how it looks on camera. Kind of using the viewfinder there. How pretty is that? Now let's take a look at this Always an Optimist, Optimist Soft Radiance Setting Powder. It really is a tongue twister. Now, as you know, <clears throat> we have this little R here that slides and it can get a bit messy if you shake it too hard, as I believe I mentioned. So. Let me just kind of gently shake it into the lid, which I just did. And actually then a lot didn't come out the first time it did. And I'm gonna use the Wayne Goss uh, brush here. This one is almost like a kabuki style. And it's dirty, not because the brush is dirty, but because my camera is acting up. So I actually had to take off my makeup and film this a second time. So that's what you're seeing on the brush. I'm gonna go into the lid here. And I am kind of applying this as a, a little bit of a finishing powder, okay? This is a setting powder, but because it has a soft radiance, I'm kind of using it as both. And if that is confusing to you, that is not my uh, desire. I do have a video coming very soon that talks precisely about the difference between finishing and setting powder and kind of where they meet, which is what you see me doing today, because I like a finishing powder more than a setting powder. So I'm kind of going against the rules here, but look at how that gentle radiance really kind of put the look together very nicely for me. I'm really, really pleased with it. And in fact, I'm pleased with this whole little collection that I'm looking at today. It makes me quite happy because I had almost, I hate to admit this, I can take my hair down now, I had almost given up on Rare Beauty, I hate to say. Um, the last uh, eyeshadow palette, I wasn't thrilled with, it's cute and all, but I wasn't thrilled. And I even pondered not reviewing them anymore. So this has definitely restored my faith in the brand. This uh, bron this uh, Warm Wishes Effortless Bronzer Stick is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, when they say effortless, they really mean it. There was nothing to it. I am definitely gonna try this in a darker shade. I do really like the Always an Optimist Soft Radiant Setting Powder, although I kind of use it to set and to finish. A video coming up explaining all that in the next uh, week or two to come but i really did enjoy that and of course we know that the soft pinch liquid blush is already a hit but the new shades are super super pretty as always i would love to know what you think princesses have you picked up this collection are you planning to pick it up and what are your thoughts on rare beauty i'm really kind of curious about that i've been up and down with them but i'm back on the upside of it now these are really pretty products. So definitely let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I sure hope that you did. Hey, you guys, coming up next, the next video you'll see after this one in the coming days is my best of beauty for 2021, according to all of your votes. I'm currently finishing tallying them, and I'm going to get that video together. So make sure that you stick around for that, and it would definitely help if you subscribed so you'll be notified. And also then I can see you in all my upcoming videos. So don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.